my car finishing something that many of you who follow me may see, may enjoy, may do. And it's called my sunrise photos that I do. Um, I do them as often as I can, usually at least once or twice a week, weather permitting, sometimes more, but it gives great enjoyment. I love doing it. I love the beauty of it and it makes people smile. So it's something that I truly enjoy doing. So I'm heading home from taking my final, and it's like epic sunrise shot of the day. And it spun me into something that I was like, you know what, this conversation could be had and inspire others to go after their dreams and to make them a reality, no matter what it is. No matter what you have going on, you know, a lot of people realize my medical conditions. I, I am constantly lately getting thrown at me in the last 10 years, rare, life-threatening, deadly <laughs> things. And, and my body is slowly succumbing as much as I don't like to talk about that on the daily, man, it's, it's just the truth of the matter. It's the facts. So as I pull up here, listening to my Disney music, I was, I was saying something to myself and, you know, just like kind of talking out loud. And I was like, you know what? I need to get this on film, maybe even make it into a blog, share it. And because if my thoughts on this, and a lot of people do definitely wonder, it's one of the top 10 questions as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a motivational speaker, as an inspiration to others, it's the, as an autoimmune warrior, mom, you name it, whatever hat of mine, it's, it's, it's a top question that I get asked. So the question being that I often get asked that I was, you know, just like, this is how you do it is even with everything you have on your plate, how Casey do you make things happen? How do you keep making your dreams come true? How do you keep like, you've got a goal and you do it. Now I'm going to get real here and I'm doing this part on purpose because I think that, I know that some people are like, is she really as disabled? Is she really having as hot of a time as she is right now here in August, 2024? And so this is me just getting out of my car. It's a challenge. I don't have anybody helping me. I have to bring beverages with me because I'm on a medication to purge spinal fluid from my body to take pressure off my brain. So I have to keep hydrated, which I try to do anyway, because I do have other medical conditions. But see, that was me just getting a little wobbly. I've got my cane in one hand. I have to pack bags that, you know, help me um, to be able to carry things easier. So I got my bag on my shoulder and I've got my three cups in my hand while I'm studying my phone here just to prove a point to show you you know you can do things it's not easy for me this is me going up one two three five do I have five yeah five stairs and I'm getting winded and it's hard I have um, issues with getting up and down stairs right now um, because of the neurological stuff going on so but I do it I persist and I go to it that's the difference all right so in the house when did getting started for my day I have extreme gastroparesis my gastrologist has me take me a relax every morning so every day for me is a colonoscopy day but there are these sunrise photos that I have been wanting, and it actually goes hand in hand with how I do everything in life. Um, I unfortunately do not like have 
a husband that wants to, you know, make my dreams come true or, you know, anyone that wants to help me make my dreams come true. I do have, don't get me wrong, family members and friends who in their time when it's convenient will help me and do stuff. But I, I don't have anyone who like is heated to drop everything to help me with stuff. So I, but I am grateful for the help that I do get. It's honestly, it's a little disappointing. And I only say this because to help people, like if you have another half, I mean, I've stood by my husband through, you know, as even as sick as I am, I go to his concerts for his students. He's a teacher. I've always, you know, been behind him with his making things happen. If you have someone, but especially if someone's sick and they have something that could shorten their life, even, you know, best case scenario is their life isn't shortened. But I have like 10 things that could take me out at any time. And it's like, you know, help that person, help them to do the things that they want to do. It means a lot. But if they, if you don't have a person like me, so I like to do my sunrise. Nobody wants to get up and do sun. No, nobody's like, hey, could I help you do that sunrise thing? Hey, I'd love to come with you. Or hey, I, you know, what have you. And I've been talking actually very, candidly to everybody in my deep inner circle about that there's these specific silos the sun goes behind them in a different angle but I would need someone to be driving me because it's on a busy road um so that we could the person could pull over safely on the side of the road and whatnot and I've really just been wanting these shots but getting someone to get up before sunrise. And and that's like, honestly, I had said to my husband before we moved to Georgia, I was like, you know what? My thing is, is just living my best life, living our best life. You know, could we get up and have coffee together and watch the sunrise and stuff? But it's just, he's not motivated. He's motivated to stay up and play his video game by himself <laughs> until two in the morning, not to get up and watch the sunrise and have coffee with me. But that's okay. Okay, I lie, it's not okay, but it has to be okay. You can't stress about what you can't control. So this morning I took my daughter to work and that's usually, that's when I started getting the sunrise photos is I saw what some people would think of, oh my gosh, taking and she, she yes she's old enough to drive but she doesn't have her license yet and honestly if, even if she if she I like spending that time with her even if she had her license I still would you know offer to spend that time with her if she you know wanted me to so I looked at it as an opportunity to wow I'm seeing the sun I actually look forward to it every morning and really it's become an enjoyable part of my day of my week to get up early it pushes my body to be up even when my body doesn't want to be up and sorry guys moving into my next part which is taking morning medicine who lives that life <laughs> um and morning breathing treatments and you name it um so i'm like you know it, it's it's an opportunity for me to spend time with my daughter, see that like the colors in the morning, the things you see in the morning. God has created just this masterpiece. I truly love it, and I truly love sharing it. So, how did I do it? So first of all, I had a vision. The vision became my dream. Like okay. I want to get this particular photo of the sunrise and I'll show it at the end. And it's just amazing and gorgeous. And this morning I was like, so on the weekend in our area, so during the week, there's a lot of commute, but during the weekend, the roads are like a ghost town. There's nobody on the roads. So I was like, you know what? This is the time 
so my my so my vision that became a dream became a plan. So this morning I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get anyone to come with me to do these sunrise photos. And honestly, is it really worth it arguing with someone who doesn't isn't going to enjoy themselves, who's going to be complaining the whole time? Like, just go do it yourself. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go in from the opposite direction. Like the optimal was having someone drive me going in the direction that I go in usually and then taking the the video and the photo and just everything's iconic and amazing. But I was like, you know what? I could drive in from the other direction. So now I make a plan. So then the plan became an action and I'm like, I'm doing this. And then the action was me driven by me being motivated and I had to go back and forth down this road. I think I did either two or three Passovers, but in end, I got the perfect photo. I got the photo I've been wanting, the exact way that I've been wanting it. I did it on my own. I am, it's, I'm just so like over the moon over this photo. And nobody else might be excited about it, but you know what? I'm excited about it. And I know a lot of people will be like, that's a beautiful photo. And it'll give them joy. And that makes me happy too. Okay. So as I sit in bed now, getting ready to go on with the rest of my day, which a lot of it will be from bed. This is my life right now. I get myself moving periodically throughout the day, but the mornings and picking up my daughter have become a great source of me, not just moving, because I can do my DDP yoga and everything else, the bed and the chair, but I literally leave the house for that and get myself moving more. I could say, like try to get someone else to do it, but I do it myself. Um, and again, no one jumping saying, hey, do you think that I could do that for you? And I appreciate all of the people who do help, but everybody around me has to realize nobody is just offering. Hey, is there something that, you know, I've got a couple of hours today. Is there something that you could do? I live in clutter right now. I'm OCD. It bugs the heck out of me, but we, I, I, this flare up, which is lupus and scleroderma and lymphedema and IIH fluid on my brain um, thing with pressure. And it's a cardiac thing and it's a kidney thing. <laughs> it's adrenal insufficiency. Like there is a huge list. And we had just moved down to our new home in Georgia. And, you know, we got majority unpacked, but there is just so much and I physically can't do it. People drive by, our yard's a mess. Nobody ever thinks like, oh, I wonder if there's something wrong with that person. Like I'm usually the groundskeeper and I can't be. And yeah, it just is what it is. But you know, I, I don't have anybody that's like in a rush. And when people do help me, I have to ask literally, a dozen times beg, bug <laughs> to get help with anything, whether it be that sales goal, whether it be so trust, I have to work hard for it. Like people aren't just like, if I'm like, oh, I have a sales goal. People aren't just like, yeah, let me, let me place that. Or it's like, you know, I think I will order something. And I have to ask like repetitively, sometimes over like days, sometimes over weeks, sometimes over months, you know, if I need something, there's a reason why there's a lot of surgeries and other things that I really, I try to do alternative routes because like we're doing now with medication because I don't know if I ever had to get the shunt put in my brain, what I would do because nobody, including my husband is like, I don't have that system. I just don't. And it just, it's, it's my life. So don't think that anything ever comes easy for me.
And if me putting that out there helps anyone around me to open their eyes and be like, wow. Like, yeah, so yeah, I, I'm going to now spend my day alone. Um, surrounded by my stuffed animals. I've got my no joke. <laughs> I have like 10 of my favorite stuffed animals around me in my bed. Um, and my cats. And my lap puppy. And me. And my thoughts. So I take those thoughts. And I have vision. And my vision becomes, okay, this is my dream I'm going to make happen. This is my goal. Then I plan it out. I make the plan. But then it's all execution and not giving up and continuing to like, okay, I'm going to make this happen. And, and things may not happen overnight. Like this picture thing, you're talking it's almost a year that I've been talking about this one picture. Almost a year. So, and I'm just now getting it done. I just now was finally like, okay, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it on the weekend. I'm going to do it on the weekend. I'm going to, when there's nobody on that stretch of road, I'm going to pull over. I'm going to take the picture myself from the opposite direction. You know, it took me a while to work it out in my head. And it may have been simpler for someone else, but you know what? I did it. That's how I built an American treasure. That's how I built multiple brands. That's how I brought my music with Metro and Cat to life. That's how I do everything that I do from my radio shows to now my vlogs to my blog. That's how I do it, but I don't give up. And I carry that over even to what may seem like no big deal to people. The time that I take to do the sunrise photos, the moon photos, the good night photos, the nature photos. I, I spend about probably 10 hours a week doing that. And I'm doing it to make y'all smile. So I hope it does because it makes me smile when you comment, when you love, and when you share. So... Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're seeing that there. Follow me wherever you're seeing this. And make sure you follow me everywhere that you want to be on social media. I'm Casey Hill, a K, a C, and Hill. And I am the CEO, owner, and founder of An American Treasure and the host of Morning Tea with Casey, Pixie Dust Nation, and the All Natural Beauty Nation on Want Internet Radio. Not a not a podcast. It's a radio show. <laughs> radio shows. All right, guys. So, what's that thought? Only the good ones, though. Don't don't do the bad ones. Like if it's gonna cause harm to people, or if it's gonna do something like like dodgy, suspect. <laughs> don't do that. But the good things. What are the good things that can help others? Help yourself, help your family, inspire others, take those, make them into your vision, make it a dream, make it reality with your own motivation, with taking the positive action and doing it. All right, guys, that's how it's done. <laughs>